Here comes Miss Daisy. I don't know what hurts more now, my arm or my leg. <laughs> well, I got something for you here so that you don't have to hold the camera up, but you don't have to stand in front of a tripod. Got a monopod for you that you can just rest it on the on the ground. Okay. And then you can still move around. Can I sit? Yeah. <clears throat> well, I'm trying to clean my house because we are having company today. So this is the spaghetti I discovered. Uh, I'm going to have to turn the power off first before I try touching any of this stuff. So, um, uh, power, main power is over here. You guys have all been here before, along with me. And that's it. And I was told I should turn that off as well. What is that? That's our, uh, Solar? Solar. So... So what are we doing today? We're just changing out all those Yeah, I'm nuts. going to replace all the nuts. And I'm looking at the wire. I'm already not happy with what I'm seeing. They're all dirty. So are you going to... Where's that little screwdriver thing that makes you make sure that there's no power to them? There's no power to it. See? <laughs> I can't drive you to a hospital, you know. <laughs> oh, I should have brought my phone with me. So, um, we have a, a yellow wire, but we also have two other yellow wires here, so I'm trying to figure out which one is which. Because here's two of the wires, they're really high gauge, they're 10 gauge. Oh, and there's two others over here. Those don't look too dirty. No, because they've been facing up. These have been facing down, and they've been probably getting rain in them. Oh. And uh, someone pointed out that this is probably not to code. I can almost guarantee you that you are right. That this is not. Okay. So I'm going to replace them with all of these uh, white ones. Yeah, so that I know which ones I've replaced. Now, what would make this not up to code? <laughs> all of these bare wires sticking out in the in the weather. they go to. But I thought all this was abandoned. So basically what they did was whoever put in the new uh, uh, fuse box cut all the wires to the house. These are all the wires going to the wall. Uh, put in a new conduit, ran all these new wires and just nutted them all together. So. The, uh, the fuse box only has like a, a four foot run before it hits its first uh, junction. And um, it's, it's grounded. We've got a whole grounding here. Got to make sure those are all tight. Oh. All right, so I've replaced everything. And I frankly didn't see any real issues. I didn't see anything loose. I didn't see anything that was so corroded that it it was going to uh, not make contact, but I got them all in here now. I have them all facing up so that when it does rain, it'll it won't go into the wires. That's the best I can do here. I know if I hire an electrician he's going to come over here and charge me a lot of money basically and he's going to say what the bleep that's right 
<laughs> now he's gonna go ka -ching! That's what he's gonna do. Alright, so I'm gonna turn the power back on. For freckles. What are we waiting for? Looks like you're hiding. She's strange, freckles. You're just finding this out now? I've been married almost 10 years now, and you're just finding this out now. That you're strange? I'm trying to explain it to Freckles. Um, Freckles known me for, he's going he's gonna to be 9 years old, old in December. Wow. We finally met the Presleys. Finally. Oh. Yeah. That, why I'm having problem with electrical? Because somebody replaced the the, um, uh, the the box and to beef it up to because they put in like three or four extra lines in here and they did a crappy job. It was everything looked like it was done by an amateur. And it's not up to code. And really? very much not, yeah. What we just so discovered wild. the other day. It's on one of the vlogs. I, sh I showed the spaghetti in the wall. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. all yeah. <laughs> So what they did is they just tore out the old one, cut all the wires, just nutted the wires, ran it around to the other side of the wall, and put it uh, in a new uh, piece box. Great. So. Now you're not cursing. Too bad. <laughs> Come on, I want to go to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> so now that's what the, where the money's going? Um, the money was always store. going there. I don't know where you thought it was going, but as soon as I heard that you guys were on my first wasn't going to go anywhere I was going to go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I immediately said Vegas fun. <laughs> what are you talking about? I take her to Vegas and you get a peaceful weekend. Well, if we want to make some money, we're going to have to bring Raquel back over. Um, Raquel never paid it. I didn't say <laughs> We all know but, that. But boy, did I have to do a lot of editing. <laughs> T-shirts that says everything okay. to do with... And, sir, I want you to be... you See if you agree on any of this, okay? And you get her in on it, too, if she's like me. We're talking about OCD. Okay. <laughs> Kevin has nice T-shirts. I do. He has T-shirts that have paint, tears, rips, stains all over them. Okay. They used to be nice t-shirts. They used to, yes. Not going to lie. And Val decides when they're not nice anymore. That's right. Well, <laughs> if they're ripped and stained and torn, I'm sorry, you're not wearing them out in public. Then she puts okay? them in the garage. Well, at first I started putting all of his, those type of clothes that he could wear when he was doing work around the house or outside in the garage. <laughs> Change in the garage. And you expected me to change in the garage. Change in Can the garage. <laughs> and do your work. Change before you come back in. Leave the dirty ones out there. I'll wash them. Okay? All right, fine. That didn't work. Okay, so now he has a drawer for his pants that he wears to do work in. And he has so many t-shirts that he has two stacks of t-shirts that are nice t-shirts that he can wear out in public <laughs> and then he has two folded triple stacks of t-shirts that he can wear in the garage easy to keep straightened out right, right. you would think yeah yeah no what do you mean no <laughs> i would go in his dresser and they would be 
all mixed up again. Unfolded and just I this one moved a t -shirt. here and this one there moved I can't there. wear the same t-shirt, well, you know, for shout outs. You should concert not! <laughs> you should not wear them in public. You should not wear them during shout outs. That's not public. You see the privacy of his own home. We're not scaring the baby, are we? <laughs> no, he's like, what's going yeah. on? Yeah. He's like, but they're we the scare the animals. Of home. You notice all, all the animals have left. He's in the privacy of okay. his own home. But when we're doing shout outs, he should not wear them. And the night that I was not here, oh, and I did you guys say that we were all on fire? Yes, I did. Just a little bit. Uh, bad enough that I got the fire extinguisher out. <laughs> Let me see. It's a little warm in the test right now. Well, well, we have just a little bit of a fire, though. A fire. How did you set the grill on fire? It was... Oh, look how hot that thing is. We're sitting here just jabbing away. Man, I tell you, <laughs> you guys get to talking and it's like, what the heck with everything else? Well, it's hot. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hot. I'm going to have to let it cool off, I think, now. It's like Ruth Chris. 15 Ooh. degrees. <laughs> Steak done in two minutes. Let's do it. Is that how Ruth Chris does it? Oh, that's actually, yeah, 1500 broiler. And a 500 degree plate. <laughs> that's about yeah. how I like my steak. Just. I, li I like mine mooing. Blue <laughs> so. cold in the center, still blue. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I can't believe you guys set the barbecue on fire. Yeah, that would be me. He's a professional. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> and he's only had what? Is that t that's his? That's number two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are you still on your first one? I am. Are you ready for another? Uh, not yet. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll make sure we don't get any more fire, so I'll make okay, a fire the, marshal tonight. The, the fire <laughs> extinguisher's right there. We're good. <laughs> they really set they, the grill they, on fire. You don't know, I saw it. Josh, I thought you were a I, told, I, I told you just nah, throw, throw, throw your anything. steak on, turn it over, you'd be done. <laughs> Mine would be done. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we'll turn yeah. on the outside, we're on the middle, you'll be good. Yeah. Charles, are you going to be a better cake than him? Hi. <laughs> That's all you have to say is hi. Hi. almost burned the house down. It's okay. No, you almost burned the yard down. Yard house. Cal you create another California fire. Not needed. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Bottom cabinet by the refrigerator. They just, you know. I so, can't tell you how I did it. So here we are. We have we have these chefs over the house. Yeah. <laughs> All we do is char something on the barbecue after we set fire to it. After we almost burn the house down. <laughs> almost burn the house down, but that's okay. That's pretty par for the course. Yep. Yeah, uh, I figured that we would have burned the house down with my electrical work oh. before, <laughs> before my cooking. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's going to happen eventually, probably. <laughs> The dog is wanting to come in. Okay. There's food in here. Did he get to eat a whole steak? I had, well, we it's out there. It's we left it on the ground out there, so oh. I'm going to sit chilling there. <laughs> okay, Freckles gained about five pounds. Did, five was eight. it good? Yeah, and he still wants food. more. <laughs> Jeez, oh man. So anyway, sorry guys that it's just steak, chicken, a little bit of potatoes and salad and my homemade rolls, <laughs> but from scratch, by the way. Um, <laughs> they were from scratch when they were made at uh, the Olive Garden. Oh, well, for, for to dessert, say that? we have I, I blue, that. blue um, <laughs> cookies. No, no, they're um, donuts. Donuts. Banana cake. Blue donuts. Blue donuts. And banana cake. And banana yes. cake. We gotta have the banana cake. <laughs> yes. For sure. My my sister made the donuts. Oh, HD nice. camera like mine. This is pretty banana. HD. Which like one's better? <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in. HD <laughs> Sony. <laughs> I gotta get a new. I gotta get a new camera. It's like they're checking out each other's cameras. <laughs> of course. We are going to have some banana chocolate chip bread. Banana chocolate chip bread. Yeah, we watched it being made. 
and some blue donuts. Some blue donuts. That Tiff made. Tiff made. Right. That sounds really good. Yeah, Tiff, Tiff actually made Allie's cake and she went and used one of my novelty pans of fallacy symbols. And <laughs> she, <laughs> for, for Allie's birthday cake and um, she didn't quite, she didn't wake me up. Actually, me and yes, I was at work. And she, she didn't quite put enough um, grease and flour in the pan, so they wouldn't stick to the pan. So apparently, only one out of the twelve came out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I forgot to bring it. She, she brought. She, she made had fallacy, fallacy um, sprinkles that she wanted me to give you. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Phallic sprinkles. Is that what you're? Yes. All right. Uh, I could live without. Thank you. They weren't for you. They were for me. They're for her. Okay, how about it? And for Sarah to share. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Guess what time it is? It's time for Meet the Presleys and the Neighbors. We have Sarah and Josh from Meet the Presleys with us tonight. And we have Charles, but he's over there sleeping, so I can't yell tonight. Yay! <laughs> so, I'm going to start off by saying to Katie, Yes, Katie, we really did meet the Presleys. Here they are! <laughs> Hi, Katie. Hello. <laughs> That's Katie Caroline. Oh, yeah, we love Katie Caroline. We see her a lot. Yeah! <laughs> Betsy Wetsy also follows you guys. She yeah. follows us, too. Thanks for following us. <laughs> yeah, we love Betsy Wetsy. And Sean says what? Also what? known. <laughs> Say oh. what? Shh. She says okay. what? It's a like him. Ow. Sean says what? What? Also known as Sweet Talking Hippie on Instagram wants a shout out. So. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? You, do you beat him up doing say, shout outs? Can I say what? I beat him up all the time. I edit it out. <laughs> oh, wow, we don't edit it out. No, we can do it. It's edit that out. Sean says what? Shout what? out to what? you. Ignore Word. them. And ZZ Epic Dude. Hit me up on private message on YouTube or on Facebook because you said you wanted to talk to me. So what? Let me know. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Megan Goss, welcome back from your holiday. Where'd you go? Hope you had a great time. We want to see pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Did you send us a, a, a gift? Come on. I want to. A magnet for my refrigerator or, or <laughs> shot glass or something. Bumper and just sticker. Joey, where's our, our start water taffy? Yeah. Come on, just Joey. Yeah, Joey. Come, Come on. on, Joey. And Daryl Roper. Remember we were talking about him casting Megan in a role? Yeah. And, you know, we said that she would be the girl that would... Uh, the scream queen. Scream queen. And he said, no, he thinks that Megan would be the girl that would stay and fight. <laughs> and I think, yeah, she would be the, st the girl to stay and fight, or she would be the one to do a mathematical problem to figure out a way out of it. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Megan. Yeah. Shh, shh, physics. <laughs> physics! Ooh, ooh. Okay. I don't want to yell. I don't want to yell. Hey, everybody, no. guess what? No one can hear you if you do that. Hey everybody, guess what? It's time for the neighborhood shout out! <laughs> and we're gonna let Sarah start. Jack Adams. Katie Caroline. Uh, uh, Lucy Bluebones. Megan Goss. Christopher Trade Show. Selena Glow. No, G Love. Oh, G Love. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 487. Also known as? Also known as Brian. <laughs> they always move your finger. Tom Show. Rex 25059. ZZ Epic Dude ZZ. Dana Biswa. Bisa. Bisa. Uh, boy, you're in trouble. <laughs> okay, no, oh no. My God. It wasn't Kevin that said it wrong. It was with Sarah, so no dollar. Uh, <laughs> 
Lucy and Autumn. Samantha L. <laughs> Domestic Goddess. Alien K18. Alien K18. Also. Also known as Kimmy. Destiny. Hey, oh, no. not you. Sorry. <laughs> Wait your turn. <laughs> Destiny Hall. Sammy and and there and there the abyss nine two eighty two meet the Presleys Wait, what <laughs> we're here <laughs> what I don't know what you're talking about got a Who shout out that? to somebody named Meet the Presleys who are they I wish I don't know watch this. Charlena Higdon <laughs> hey 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 oh again it goes them two than us yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, you skipped me last time. <laughs> but you've been skipping this. Just count it. So. Just to, uh, <laughs> what is that? Oh, Skylar, Chantel, Shaylee, and Shaden. Ground dome. <laughs> My, your turn, right? Whitney, Broderson. <laughs> I cannot pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I'm always asking Kevin. How do you say that word? <laughs> Justina C. <laughs> SG Sprint Car One. <laughs> Play bad with usernames. Play bad with usernames. <laughs> Amanda Nichols and Eric C. You are all part of our neighborhood community. Each and every one of you. We love you all. Thank you. Check out Meet the Presleys. Great, great recipes on there. Make me drool every time I watch them. <laughs> and they don't set the place on fire. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. <laughs> Promise. <laughs> we love you all. Thanks for following. Thumbs up and we'll see you all tomorrow.